Welcome back to Anime Cons TV. I'm Doug Wilder, and one of the things we've been noticing a lot more within the convention community has been drawing attention to the fact that with conventions getting more and more popular, more people are out to attend them, and there's a greater potential for people to feel possibly harassed in different situations. And one of the things we decided to do was we're going to talk a little bit about some of the ways that you can deal with feeling like you've been harassed at a convention or if you're witnessing harassment. A lot of these ideas that we got came from the Hallback Project, which is an awesome thing. It's not convention related, but they're all very good tips. Uh, I just want to give them a shout out. If you want a little bit more information on that, they are at iHollaback.org. It's a gr great website for talking about kind of street harassment. Um, but in the convention community, it's a, l a little different, but there are still very good tips that we can apply there. Um, the first thing to understand with harassment in situations like this is that every situation is unique. There's never going to be a perfect example, and you should... Uh, if you are feeling harassed, read the situation very carefully. Safety should always be your priority. Um, so sometimes the best way to deal with it is to remove yourself from this from the scene if you at all possible. And if you know, just just get away from the the people or the person that's making you uncomfortable and harassing you. If you do feel comfortable enough speaking up and saying something use very firm language some of the things you can say are you know knock it off that's not okay and hey you're making me uncomfortable please stop once again the big thing is to be firm and everything like that that's going to help you a lot and getting your point across so you can help deal with it um if you're going if you decide to you know remove your situation so from the situation that's incredibly helpful uh, seek out people that you, you should uh, be comfortable with. Uh, that should be, you know, if you have other friends at the convention or just people that you know are going to help you out a little bit more. Talking with convention staff, either people that are in the facility, say if you're in a big convention center, the convention center staff, or the convention's staff themselves. You know, many conventions clearly have their staff in shirts that you know say staff on them and stuff and even if they're not directly security staff they should be able to direct you to a play a, a safe space and that's very 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 important uh talking with staff is you know it's it's a see something say something situation we can uh staffers can only address a situation if they're aware of it so making that known to them is super important and if you have a chance once you've been taking yourself a step back from that situation, either t you know confronted the, the harasser and moved on, or if you've just moved on, uh, I can't emphasize enough: talk to staff right away. Still during the convention, don't don't wait just for a couple of weeks after the convention is gone by saying, "Hey, by the way," say something as soon as you can. It's super important. Um, and if you get a chance to talk to the staff. You know, give them as much information as possible. You know, to give if you can, give them a physical description of what the person looked like. You know, maybe what they were wearing. You know, how how tall they were, things like that. Um, that's going to help. Let them know what they said to you that you know made you uncomfortable, things like that. And once again, and just kind of tell them where in the convention you saw. You know, oh, you know, give a uh, details of where something happened. Oh, this happened by the stairwell, this area. Oh, it was over by this elevator. Oh, it was near this panel room. Things like that. Everything like that is important. And staff members do take this seriously and they should be treating it a as such. And if they aren't, that's a bigger issue. And I would recommend anyone that doesn't f feel like the staff is addressing that properly to maybe avoid that convention in the future because that's that's not a safe space and conventions are supposed to be fun they're supposed to be engaging times and if you're not feeling like a, a an area is a safe space it you you should not be there 
Um, now, something we also are talking about a little bit is what to do if you're a bystander, if you're witnessing harassment, but it's not coming directly at you. Once again, remember that every situation is different, and it's very care. You have to be very careful to read the situation. Um, if you're seeing it, first off, you know, prioritize taking care of the person that is being harassed. And the, something to do there is also just asking, "Hey, are you okay? You know, is everything all right?" Because sometimes it's hard to read and maybe it's friends joking around maybe it's not and just asking hey are you all right sometimes that that's all you need but it also it just it makes a it creates a safe space and it lets them know that you're there to you you're there to help you're not doing this because you expect anything other than assisting a person's safety and that's really key and the person might not be comfortable responding to you so just once again read the situation carefully and if you do decide to confront the harasser once again firm language and be be strong and you just say you know hey that's not okay knock it off you know things like that that's very important and if the if the uh situation calls for it once again help escort the person to a safe response like hey hey let's come you know you can say things like hey let's Let's go, let's go talk to the con staff about this. This isn't cool. Things like that. But, you know, once again in these situations, safety, safety, safety. I can't emphasize that enough. That is something that is very important in these situations. And it's very hard to deal with some of these in the moment. I understand that. Not all these situations are easy to kind of think about as time goes on, a lot of it, just kind of remember, is being being firm, being strong, and recognizing it w when you see it, but also taking a preventative st uh, stance that if you see something, you say something, pass the word along to the convention center staff or, or the convention itself staff, because the only way that they can deal with this is if they are aware of the problem. So that's a lot of the basics right now. There's a whole lot of other issues that we could dive into, and I I don't want to cut this topic short. But we are gonna we are gonna come back to this. And if you guys have any other tips that you think you'd like to share with us and let us know about ways that you've dealt with harassment at a convention that you've learned that are very effective, or if you've seen ways that conventions have been a little bit more proactive uh the cosplay is not consent signage is a very big thing that's come up at many conventions now and that's a great example so if there's anything like that send us an email uh you can probably look at the email address right down below or uh, send us a note on twitter so at anime cons uh tv and things like that we we're very curious to see what other solutions are out there and once again see something say something i can't emphasize that enough uh that's all for this week for anime cons tv i know it's a bit of a heavy topic but we'll see you next time and as always thanks for watching stay safe out there guys